that's like a repeat. That's like a repeat passage from the other one. 2931. When our messenger angels came to Abraham with the good news of the birth of Isaac, they said, we are going to destroy the people of the city of Sodom for its people have persisted in wrongdoing. How many, um, how many surahs is, is, I'm telling you, these angels had beef, beef, because these, this has come up in like three surahs. How many surahs is Sodom and Gomorrah in? I swear we've read like three where it came up. Those angels had beef. For its people have persisted in wrongdoing. He said, but Lot is there. Or he said, but Lot is there. They responded, we know best who is there. <laughs> we will certainly save him and his family, except his wife. Y'all, those angels really didn't like his wife. <laughs> they for real did not like his wife. They picked her out. They, they said, accept his wife every single time. They were just like, go in the night and don't look back. Accept your wife. <laughs> Let your wife look back. <laughs> Dang. Accept his wife, who is one of the doomed. And when our messenger angels came to Lot, he was distressed and worried by their arrival. They reassured him, do not fear nor grieve. We will surely deliver you and your family, except your wife. out his wife oh my gosh they had it out for her boy <laughs> do not fear nor grieve we will surely deliver you and your family except your wife who is one of the doomed oh we are certainly bringing down a punishment from heaven heaven upon the people of this city for their rebelliousness and we did leave some of its ruins as a clear lesson for people of understanding. And to the people of Mid Midian, we sent their brother Shuai. He said, oh, my people worship Allah and hope for the reward of the last day and do not go about spreading corruption in the land. But they rejected him. So an overwhelming earthquake struck them and they fell lifeless in their homes. And the people of Ad and Thamud met a similar fate which must be clear to you Meccans from their ruins. Satan, here come the birthday candle, causing all kinds of mess again. Satan made their evil deeds appealing to them, hindering them from the right way, although they were capable of reasoning. We also destroyed Korah, Pharaoh, and Haman. Jesus had to come... Moses had to come to them with clear proofs, but they behaved arrogantly in the land, yet they could not escape us. So we seized each people for their sin. Against some of them, we sent a storm of stones. Some were over overtaken by a mighty blast. Some we caused the earth to swallow, and some we drowned. Allah would, have, it would not have wronged them, but it was they who wronged themselves. The parable of those who take protectors other than Allah is that of a spider spinning a shelter. And the flimsiest, the flimsiest of all shelters is certainly that of a spider, if only they knew. Allah, sh oh, uh, that's the title, the spider. Okay, we came full circle. Where'd it go?
Where'd it go? And themselves, if only they knew. Okay. Allah surely knows that whatever gods they invoke besides him are simply nothing for he is the almighty all wise. These are the parables we set forth for humanity, but none will understand them except the people of knowledge. Allah created the heavens and the earth for a purpose. Surely in this is a sign for the people of faith. Recite what has been revealed to you of the book and establish prayer. Indeed, genuine prayer should deter one from indecency and weakness, wickedness. The remembrance of Allah is an even greater dip Det is an even greater deterrent. I swear I know how to read y'all very well. And Allah fully knows what you all do. Do not argue with people of the book unless gracefully, except with those of them who act wrongfully and say, we believe in what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to you. Our God and your God is only one. And to him, we fully submit. Similarly to earlier messengers, we have revealed to you a book, O prophet, the faithful of those to whom we gave the scriptures believe in it. As do some of these pagan Arabs. And not, that was in the book. And none denies our, like, some of these seem like insults. I don't know. It just, it, it just feels weird to say it out loud. I'm reading. And none denies our revelations except the stubborn disbelievers. You, O prophet, could not read any writing even before this revelation. Nor could you write it all. Otherwise, the people of falsehood would have been suspicious. Muhammad couldn't read and write? Peace be upon him. But here's the whole book. Well, I guess that's why they say, otherwise the people of falsehood would have been suspicious. Like he couldn't write his own words. He didn't know how. But this Quran is a set of clear revelations preserved in the hearts of those gifted with knowledge. And none denies our revelations except the stubborn wrongdoers. They say, if only some signs had been sent down to him from his Lord. Say, O oh Prophet, or say, O oh Prophet, signs are only with Allah, and I am only sent with a clear warning. Ah, see, that goes back to what we just read. The messengers are only there to send a message. They're not there to send, give you your signs. You should just look around you and see the signs. You see that tree outside your window? There's your sign, bruh. What you think made that? You see the clouds? What you think made that? Is it not enough for them that we have sent down to you the book which is recited to them? Surely in this Quran is a mercy and a reminder for people who believe. Say, O Prophet, sufficient is Allah as a witness between me and you. He fully knows whatever is in the heavens and the earth. And those who believe in falsehood and disbelieve in Allah, it is they who are the true losers. Shout out to Allah for being the one to bring losers to the forefront. <laughs> he was calling y'all losers 1400 years ago. <laughs> they challenge you, O prophet, to hasten the punishment. Had it not been for a time already set, the punishment would have certainly come to them at once, but it will definitely take them by surprise when they least expect it. They urge you to hasten the punishment and hell will certainly encompass the disbelievers. On the day of the punishment will overwhelm them from above them and from below them, below their feet. And it will be said, reap what you sowed. As above, so below. Oh, my believing servants, my earth is truly spacious. So worship me alone. Every soul will taste death. Then to us, you will all be returned. As for those who believe and do good, we will certainly house them in elevated mansions in paradise. 
under which rivers flow to stay there forever. How excellent is the reward for those who work righteousness. And I just ima imagine these mansions, like there wouldn't be any dirt in the hereafter. So you, you don't even have to clean them. You don't even have to sweep them or nothing. Like think of all the, all the amazing parts of a mansion. You could just have that without the extra work. Those who patiently endure and put their trust in the Lord. How many are the creatures that cannot secure their provisions? <laughs> it is Allah who provides for them and you as well. He is indeed the all hearing, all knowing. If you ask them, O prophet, who created the heavens and the earth and subjected the sun and the moon for your benefit, they will certainly say Allah. How can they then be deluded from the truth? Allah gives abundant or limited provisions to whoever he wills of his servants. Surely Allah has full knowledge of everything. And if you ask them who sends down rain from the sky, giving life to the earth after its death, they will surely say Allah. Say praise, to be, praise be to Allah. In fact, most of them do not understand. <laughs> This worldly life is no more than play and amusement. But the hereafter is indeed the real life. <laughs> if only they knew. If they happen to be aboard a ship caught in a storm, they cry out to Allah alone in sincere devotion. But as soon as he delivers them safely to shore, they associate others with him once again. So when they're about to die, they're like, oh, Allah, please save us. And he's like, I got you. I got you. Here's your safety. In this, go, go safely to shore. Man, I'm glad that storm let up. Shoot, we were about to die. Oh, oh, oh. So let them be ungrateful for all we have given them. And let them enjoy themselves for now, for they will soon know. Have they not seen how we made the, how, let me start again. Have they not seen how we have made Mecca a safe haven, whereas people all around them are snatched away? How can they then believe in falsehood and deny Allah's favors? And who does more wrong than those who fabricate lies against the law or reject the truth after it has reached them. Is hell not a fitting home for the disbelievers? <laughs> As for those who struggle in our case, we will surely guide them along our way. And Allah is certainly with the good doers. That's the end. That's the end of that, uh, of that surah. That was a good one. I liked that one. Those angels have it out for Lot's wife.